So in this video we're going to take a very quick look at what Calador is like in winter. Now you can see I'm wearing my coat today because there's a very very cool breeze blowing across the island. We have highs today of well it says 16 degrees but that cold breeze is making it feel a lot cooler. However that doesn't detract from the fact that I am down in one of the most beautiful corners of Mallorca. You can see the colour of the water behind me. It's exactly as it looks in the summer but the beach in front of me is looking extremely different. Now these are very different scenes to what you see during the summer months down here in Calador and even in the spring months. Of course there, there are no holiday makers down here at the moment, well not that I know of anyway because of course most of the hotel accommodations are now closed but we've got quite a few locals here enjoying a very beautiful sunny day. Now for many people this may well be the very best time to visit a resort like Calador. If you're looking for somewhere to come that has completely empty beaches and you want to experience these beaches as being completely empty or almost empty then please come in winter because you're going to obviously have a very very different and very relaxed and tranquil experience. Now over the winter months here in Mallorca Dogs are actually allowed on the beaches, so from the 1st of November until the 30th of April, you're going to find dogs on the beaches here. Now this is obviously their favourite time of year, and for many residents down here too, it's our favourite time of year too. Now you can see here this morning that Caligran isn't quite as calm as you'd normally find during July and August. It's a little bit stormy and windy out at the seas today, so we've got a little bit of a a tide coming in, a few bigger waves coming in. It's still absolutely beautiful down here. Now, during the summer months, you do see some fantastic little beach bars down here in Caligran. Of course, they're all closed up now. This beach is just so empty. I'm sure many of you have never seen Caligran Beach looking quite this empty. And it's about the only time of year as well that we're going to find it being this quiet. As we head on into March, I think we're going to start seeing the return of many visitors down here as we head towards an early Easter. So I've just come to the back of Caligran Beach. You can see some of the main hotels down here in Calador. Now, I do call them ghost hotels because that, that's what it feels like over the winter. All the dining rooms tend to be painted out so no one can see inside. The swimming pools are left to gather leaves. It's just so empty here. I'm half expecting to see tumbleweeds just blowing down through the resort. Okay, so let's head on up to the town centre. So it's very, very quiet here as we come into Calador Centre. Can't see very much open, but there are a few locals around today. Let's head on up and see if there are any, any shops open. Now, looking up at the high street here, many of the shops are closed. There are a few chain stores that are open, actually some chain clothes shops. They've all got sales on as well, which is quite good to see. Look, I'm outside Mango here, 70% off. Might be worth popping in there before I go home. But as I walked down through Calador Centre this morning on my way down to the beach, I did find a few places open that the locals were having coffees in. But let's go and check out the restaurants in the centre. Now, the Las Columnas Cafe is the only place that I have seen open this morning. He shouldn't be writing on the pavement, but anyway. OK, but I'm going to take a left here in towards the centre where we normally find the restaurants down here in Calador. Let's see if there's absolutely anything open at all. Now I'm right in the centre here where you're going to find all the bars and the restaurants during the summer months. It's all shut down for the winter by the looks of it. Very, very quiet and all you can hear is the distant hum of drilling. As a lot of the businesses down here are getting all the properties ready for the summer, doing some major renovations and of course this is the best time to do those renovations because there's just nobody here so it's great to hear actually it's great to hear that there's some investment in doing 
up the area but I don't think I'm gonna have much luck here finding any lunch down here today Now I'm right down here in the middle of the high street. Not very much traffic around today actually. As you can see, I'm standing in the middle of the road. But let's head on down towards Calipatita and go and check that out. Now I can see in front of me, there's some major renovations that are taking place. Let's get past this bulldozer. Now I'm just coming up behind the very gorgeous Hotel Calador. I can hear lots of renovations are taking place in here too. Let's go and head on down towards Calipatita and go and see what that's looking like today on this very cool February day. Now check this out everyone, I'm down here on Calipatita, I'm the only person down on the beach. In fact I've got this entire beach to myself now. I consider myself to be very lucky today. I know many of you are going to be spending a lot of money to come here on holiday. Now, just like over in Caligran, the sea over here is just so beautiful and clear and turquoise too. Again, it's a little bit stormy. But if you want to see beaches in Calador looking this empty, then join me and come here in winter. Now, if you are a resident over here in Calador and you are watching this video, do let me know if any restaurants over here in the centre stay open during the winter months. Let me know in comments below. So we're just coming into Calador Marina. Now, it's a little bit busier down here than maybe in other parts of the resorts because there's quite a lot of boat maintenance taking place down here. But I can't see any restaurants open just yet. Let's have a look around the corner. Now I'm just looking across the water here over to the other side of the marina. You're going to know that we've got loads of pubs and restaurants and there's a great ice cream shop over this side too. But from what I can see here, it's all closed up too. So I'm just looking across the water here. I can see another restaurant is open for lunch as well, which is great. I'm sure there are lots of yacht workers over here actually that are looking for food. So it's great to see that places have stayed open. Now I have come over to what is a very beautiful and very windswept Calau Despau beach. I'm just on the far side of Cala Agos here and once again I am the only person on the beach. Now it's looking very very beautiful as you can see but it's very windy down here. Now you can see the Espau restaurant is also closed down for the season. This opened up again last summer, it's all been fully renovated so I'm really looking forward to seeing this opening up. But I can hear some renovations going on behind me, so let's check out what these are all about. Now, as you can see, we've got considerable renovations going on right behind me, and this is right in front of the Rocca Marina Hotel and Resort. Now, I'm absolutely sure that there was something here behind me. It could have been a swimming pool, it could have been other apartment blocks. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to check over my past videos to see what was here before, but you can see something has quite possibly been demolished. It looks like something is going to be built again. So let's see what that's going to be. Don't forget guys, I'll keep you posted as we head on into the summer season. Now we're just coming down into Cala Agos here. It's so peaceful and quiet once again. I do believe I'm the only person here. Now, of course, you know these hotels very well. I'm outside the Alua Sol Hotel and obviously this has been completely closed down for the season. Now, of course, because the hotel is closed, the pools have been left, they haven't been cleaned, so they have gone green. Obviously not the water you will want to be swimming in, but of course, when this hotel does open up and get ready for the season, all this is gonna be cleaned up and it's gonna look absolutely amazing once again. But don't forget, I'll be coming down here to let you know when that is. So let's head on down onto Cala Agos, and I'm suspecting already that I'm going to be the only person down here again. And I can't believe it, I've come up against a fence here heading on down towards Cala Agos. 
There's no real way past it actually. I'm not going to fence jump today, but just to give you a quick view of Cala Agos here, what it's like and how pretty it is. Okay everyone, thank you very much for watching my winter update from here in Calador. I hope you quite enjoyed seeing the resort, looking very, very different to how you'll find it over the summer months. Now, if you would like to see more videos about Calador, if you want to check out things to do in Calador, then please check out this video here. I also have more videos coming out from this area as well, coming up soon, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. Thanks very much for watching everyone, and I shall see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.